So in this example, we need to use data percents to figure out the empirical formula. Now, empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio. So we have to get these percents to whole numbers, and they have to be moles. So we have some converting to do. The first thing we're going to do is assume that this percent is out of 100. So if we had a 100 gram sample, we'll make this assumption. If we had a 100 gram sample, it would be made up of 32.4 grams of sodium because that's 32.4%. It would be made up of 22.6 grams of sulfur and 45 grams of oxygen. So you can get rid of the percent signs and change them all to grams just by simply assuming our sample size is 100. The next thing we do is convert all of these grams to moles. So let's start with sodium. You're going to start with the amount that you have, 32.4 grams. You're going to look on the periodic table one mole of sodium is equal to 23.0 grams. Do the math, and you realize that this is 1.409 moles of sodium. Keep a lot of sig figs. The more sig figs you have, the better. You can actually go ahead and break the rules here a little bit. You're going to divide through by the smallest anyways and end up with a simple whole number ratio, so the sig figs don't really become an issue. But the more you have, the better, the less likely you are to round, and then the easier it will be to notice a ratio, a whole number ratio between all the elements. All right, so here's sulfur. We have 22.6 grams. We want to do one mole over its molar mass, which is 32.1 grams. Oops, one grams. And then if you do the math out here, you realize this comes out to 0 0.704 moles. That's sulfur. And finally, oxygen. We have 45.0 grams. And one mole of oxygen has a molar mass of 16.0 grams. Do the math, and you get 2.813 moles. Now, this is a mole ratio. 1.409 to 0.704 to 2.813. This is not a nice ratio, though. But we're going to write it anyways, so we can treat it as a mole ratio. 1.409, sulfur is 0 0.704, sorry about the messiness here, and oxygen is 2.813. Now again, this isn't pretty, but we can divide by the smallest. The smallest is 0 0.704, this turns into a 1, this turns into a, oops, let me switch ink here, this turns into a 4, and 0 0.704, that cancels out, and it turns that into a 2. That is a whole number ratio. So we rewrite it, Na2, and then S, imaginary 1, O4. That's sodium, and hopefully sulfate jumps out at you, and this is sulfate. So you just came up with the formula for sodium sulfate, from this original percent composition data. So whenever you have percents, get rid of them, change them to grams, and then use your grams to convert to moles. Once you have moles, write it out like this, divide through by the smallest, and that'll get you your empirical formula, your smallest whole number ratio between all the elements involved in the compound.